Okay, if uh, anybody's interested, here's a little quick tutorial on the Swamp Man and the uh, genesis of the Swamp Man. Uh, first thing I needed to do was uh, get some trees for the swamp, and uh, I used a program called VUE, V U E, from Eon Software. It's a super high end piece of software, but it takes like years to render a frame. So I would just using some of the tools that program has to render trees and model some trees. So I got some trees from VUE and uh, converted them to objects and brought them into iClone. Found some cool tree bark textures at uh, cgtextures.com, great resource for textures of all sorts, man-made textures, and uh, really cool uh, stuff. Uh, so I covered the trees with that bark and I uh, gave them a texture. Uh, the next thing I needed was some Spanish moss. So I got the uh, flex cloth material and went online once again and found a uh, picture of Spanish moss and so I textured uh, that object with the Spanish moss and created an opacity map in uh, Photoshop and uh, kind of gave it a see-through look like maybe Spanish moss should look and that helped a lot and then I was able to uh, take those uh, textures and uh, put them on my tree and so now the tree uh, has uh, the Spanish moss hanging from it and that gave me the uh, Spanish moss effect which worked out I think okay and then the next thing I took uh, to create my swamp man took Dylan and uh, gave him a if you can see one of the female hairstyles I uh, took the uh, Spanish moss texture and textured the uh, hairstyle with the Spanish moss and so it uh, gave it a nice effect and I used that Spanish moss texture on the upper and lower clone cloths and I created another tree bark texture for the skin so started getting the skin like I liked and then took my trees and uh, kind of moved my trees around and uh, attached them to Dylan and gave him the tree bark effect and the tree limb effect on him and that kind of worked out okay and uh, played with them some more and uh, worked with the uh, proportion tools in the avatar and stretched uh, his features, made him taller, changed the hands, worked with the face, uh, started uh, adjusting it to more my liking, and uh, then pretty much came up with this guy here. And uh, there's the final swap man. It's basically Dylan and uh, he's a cool happening guy and uh, got some of the uh, Spanish moss attached to him there to create a cape effect sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't but uh, when it did it looked cool so uh, I was able to do that that was a cool effect and uh, there he is okay hope that uh, gave you a little idea